Hello, I'm Sky Mangrum for SkyOnMedia.com, and today I would like to talk about seven ways meditation changes the brain. Um, now, I looked at some previous research that indicated that long term meditation practice is associated with altered resting or electroencephalogram, the EEG patterns that are suggestive of lasting, long-lasting changes in a brain's activity. And this sparked another research study um, with a hypothesis that not only that chemical changes, but there's physical changes to the brain as well caused by meditation. Um, now, the, this was a, a result of a 2012 MRI research studies um, by neuroscientists on, on Buddhists um, and their mindfulness meditation. Uh, so it's not the chanting practice, but the formal sitting practice. Um, so one way that meditation changes the brain is it exhibits higher levels of gyrification, which is the folding of the cerebral cortex as a result of growth in the brain. Um, the second way is that meditation is linked to cortical thickness. Um, the MRI scans showed that brain regions associated with attention, interception, and sensory perception were thicker in the meditation participants, um, which gives them a decreased sensitivity to pain, gives them greater emotional control, um, suggesting that meditations might offset also age-related age related cortical thinning. Um, Number three is that long-term meditation increased the gray matter density in the brain stem. Um, now, this gives you improved cognitive um, and emotional and immune responses that are tied to this growth. Also, um, there's positive effects on breathing and your heart rate, which is your cardiorespiratory control. Um, now, four is meditation is linked to a higher hippocampal and frontal uh, frontal volumes of gray matter. Um, this results in more positive emotional states, um, retention of emotional stability, uh, more mindful behavior or heightened focus. Um, also, neuroprotect neuroprotective attributes um, which diminish your age-related effects on gray matter and reduce the cognitive decline. Um, five is that meditators have a different expression of brain metabolites and those are linked to your anxiety and your depression, the way you deal with those. Six is that there's not just physical and chemical components that are affected in the brain by mindfulness, um, but neuroscientists have doc neuroscientists it's such a tongue twister have documented the way that meditation impacts the brain activity. Um, so for example, meditation has been associated with decrease a decrease in uh, the default mode network activity and connectivity. Um, now those are the undesirable brain functions that are responsible for lapses in attention um, and disorders um, such as anxiety disorders and the ADHD. Um, even the buildup of the uh, beta amyloid plaques that are uh, associated with the Alzheimer's disease. Um, now finally, this is a lot of research this is really fascinating though. Um, so finally meditation is linked to dramatic changes in the electrical brain activity. Um, this is your increased theta and your alpha on the EEG activity which is associated with um, wakeful and relaxed states of attentiveness. Um, so I hope you've liked this little video. Um, I know this is a, a lot of information and I threw it at you very fast. Um, if you like this video and the other videos in the series, you can always click the button and subscribe to get uh, the Sky on Media. Or you can get some of the PDFs that I have available and some of the cool things that I found and more videos. And working on the release of a podcast, which is a Tea with Yogi, should be pretty awesome. Um, so you can check back on all that at the uh, sky, skyonmedia.com. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.